Uh, hi, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Patilam, continuing the uh, video class series on Indian Knowledge System DIKK609. This is for Rishashira Technological University, 6th semester common to all, all branches. Okay, so this is uh, part 1. I am still on the overview of uh, uh, the uh, syllabus. I am uh, referring the textbook and uh, in, uh, Referring to the textbook, I am giving the details as per so the textbook which I am referring, the Indian knowledge system which is mentioned in the in the syllabus. Okay, so I am keeping it aside uh, to refer, I am keeping the point uh, or, or, um, explaining uh, so that uh, I will not uh, miss out uh, some of the points because uh, I am also uh, new to this subject. Okay, so we know that we heard about uh, many things about Indian knowledge system, but uh, to explain that at the first time i need to refer it so please do subscribe to my youtube channel for my the effort which i am taking to which i have taken to bring simplifying this content for you i'm taking the as referring it as such two textbooks are mentioned uh, those two textbooks are referring as well as one uh, textbook in the syllabus which is there uh, in the pdf form which is available from the google um, internet you can download it Okay, so the course, course outcomes, so CO1, CO2, CO3, CO4 are given. So I am connecting that course outcome to the question paper. Question paper is taken from the same uh, textbook as such. They taken the question paper and I am simplifying the question answers. Okay, so moving to the seventh question of uh, the first uh, unit overview. Uh, that is, uh, question is given like a brief. A briefly state the salient features uh, of uh, Indian knowledge system when uh, viewed from the historical point, historicity point, what are the areas of uh, the key contributions? So it, that is CO1, level of question, I uh, can say it is level 2 question and uh, 10 marks expected. So I made uniformly as 10 marks for because in the textbook uh, more than one and a half pages if it covers, <laughs> I made it as a 10 mark question uh, because that much. Uh, student need to answer okay so the answer to that uh, indian knowledge system it has got a very uh, rich history uh, the salient features of indian knowledge system from the historical uh, perspective if you take uh, it goes back to the ancient time uh, with uh, the contribution which are uh, predate uh, to many other civilization compared to many other existing or uh, earlier non-civilization so some of the salient features are uh, mentioned i have pointed out in this uh, slide like uh, uh, first point that is ancient origin the indian knowledge system or the indian continents uh, the knowledge system developed uh, is one of the oldest knowledgeable system in the world with uh, many uh, foundational uh, uh, text like the vedas the Upanishad, these are uh, de uh, dates back to uh, some 500 uh, before uh, common era or called as before Christ or even earlier to that. So this makes uh, it far older than any of the other uh, uh, most western texts. It's mainly originated in the, in the, in mainly in the common era uh, after Christ. Okay, so the uh, oral tradition uh, in ancient uh, Bharata, Akanta Bharata or the Indian continent, what we say, the knowledge was, it was primarily, initially or primarily passed, uh, passed down uh, orally through uh, talking or through poems or communication uh, and they have used to memorize it through uh, memorizing it. The teachers, so called the gurus, uh, they would teach the students uh, as shishyas uh, in a very traditional way which uh, relies on uh, the memory which means that the knowledge which is needed to be precise and the knowledge to be very concise. So the earliest written records of Indian knowledge system they not only uh, uh, came uh, later, uh, they were, um, uh, 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 the records were there, uh, 
the knowledge was there but it was came in the written form in the form of uh, the temple inscriptions and the uh, palm leaf manuscripts in the later stage okay so the challenges that is the dating challenges since these texts they were uh, passed down orally for so long later on it, it is uh, came to the written form as in the form of a temple inscriptions or the palm leaf manuscripts therefore it is very difficult to uh, precisely date them when it was originated so the contemporary dating methods are not always effective for the indian knowledge system due to the the lack of written records in the in that ancient time so when texts were finally written they were often preserved in the form of much later uh, than the original creation then some of the astronomical references if you take uh, the indian continents texts uh, which are often uh, uh, contain the references uh, to the, the astronomical events uh, like the positioning of stars these can help the researchers to estimate their age for instance uh, the the uh, sapta brahma sapta brahmana it was it, it mentions a star from star formation that modern researchers dated to around uh, around 3000 before common era bce using the astronomy software so the researchers they have divided uh, this indian knowledge system uh, into three time periods so to understand that time periods better let us take this uh, time period you can see it is divided into before 3000 uh, uh before common era 3000 uh, before common era to 500 uh, common era and 500 common era to 1800 common era so here when i say the uh, common era it is actually as well as used as the christ before christ uh, that i am using as a before common era uh, and uh, common era is uh, ad anno domini okay so this is the scale which is time scale which represents the the time period everything which we are talking is about is before the common era uh, that is before christ okay so the time period classification which is given here like this uh, before some 3000 uh, common era the period it is often called as the dark ages in case of the western world because no written knowledge from that time has been found till now so in india or indian continent or the akhanda bharata the vedas the puranas and the itihasas the itihasas like the mahabharata or the ramayana they were already being passed down orally 3000 bce to 500 common era this was the time when the rest of the world was still learning the basic skills but the indian continent the people in indian continent was making important contributions to the uh, linguistics to the literature health mathematics and daily living then from 500 ce uh, to 1800 ce in that period the indian continent people living in that uh, uh, area they made great advancements in uh, mathematics uh, in astronomy uh, philosophy spirituality architecture and uh, and technology during this period so uh, some of the amazing uh, uh, facts or structures which uh, supports this or the inventions uh, from this time it is just like the 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 rust free iron pillars as well as the musical pillars in the temples which is still exist today as the proof of uh, indian continent's advanced skills okay so this is the iron pillar or the kirti stamba uh, 
this iron pillar it was uh, ma mainstreamed or it was installed by uh, the ruler of uh, madhya pradesh uh, that is chandragupta ii the iron pillar it enclosing the vishnu temple uh, that uh, vishnu dhaja it tributed uh, to the lord vishnu or the dhaja means black banner which according to the vedic mythology appears at the top most positions at temples so afterwards from madhya pradesh this iron pillar was moved to delhi uh, within the uh, kutub complex uh, by the the sultan to the tutmish uh, in uh, uh, 1233 it now at now right now it is uh, present in that that place at delhi uh, it, initially it was at uh, madhya pradesh it was installed by chandragupta to chandragupta the second then the example of um, uh, the music pillar which is there at uh, the vitthal temple uh, in uh, hampi is also an example why uh, the indian knowledge system was uh, was well before a pre dated common era now the key contributions which i mentioned here i have highlighted that indian knowledge system it contributes to many areas like vedas and related knowledge like the linguistics and the literature the mathematics which includes the developments in geometry the algebra algebra i will talk about that later it is algebra is actually arabic word which has a coordinate from uh, bijagunitam which was there in uh, uh, india it was taken means uh, pieces of uh, maths then further it convert into algebra then astronomy the study of uh, stars and planets uh, philosophy and uh, spirituality exploring uh, the the questions about life uh, questions about the universe and our existence the uh, architectural and technology with the temples and uh, structures that have survived for centuries so these contributions are very essential part of uh, the world history and shows the deep wisdom of the uh, civilization uh, which existed in the indian subcontinent during that era before common era before christ next question the indian knowledge uh, repository predates several of the western works in several areas do you agree with the statement prepare a note either supporting the statement or otherwise okay now it is uh, connected to uh, course outcome 4 because the way of question and the way answering can be connected to question number 4 something connected to the modern uh, uh, eras knowledge okay so the answer it is yes it is very accurate to say that uh, indian knowledge uh, system it uh, predates uh, many western works in various areas and some of the uh, supporting uh, views are given here like the early developments many of uh, the india's key texts like the vedas or the upanishad they were composed well before 500 before common era before christ far earlier than most western library and the scientific works the texts were found in that era so before that it was orally communicated so it is long back so in contrast the western uh, texts they were largely emerged in the last millennium that is within the common era or ce for after first ad ad the long lasting uh, oral tradition the indian knowledge was uh, traditionally it was preserved uh, orally for generations the use of uh, techniques like uh, like the chandas or the meters uh, and the memorization they helped uh, retain their uh, knowledge accurately even before the widespread use of writing the western system they largely relied on uh, written text from the start which did not become common in uh, in, in indian subcontinent until later 
then use of astronomical dating by analyzing the astronomical uh, references in uh, text the modern researchers they have been able to uh, date some indian text or indian continents text to around uh, 3000 before common era as one of the example that is the uh, satapada brahmana this predates many non western records then contributed in uh, key fields the indian subcontinent's knowledge it had early contributions in uh, mathematics like the zero or the place value and even the algebra algebra is actually bijagunitam the original form was bijagunitam then later it's converted into arabic word algebra then algebra becomes algebra okay so the and the health and wellness uh, health and wellness mainly with ayurveda and astronomy so the scholars they calculated <coughs> the planetary positions the scholars of indian subcontinent they calculated the planetary positions and they studied the star uh, constellations which played a very vital role in early science then comes the uh, unique approaches indian knowledge systems uh, focus uh, on uh, spirituality on uh, philosophy and the holistic science they often differ from the western approaches these were more um, materialistic in nature uh, whereas the indian knowledge systems uh, that uh, indian subcontinent knowledge system it has very unique and perspective it enriches fields like such as the ethics the metaphysics and the sciences so oh, that's about uh, uh, this question number 7 and 8 uh, thank you very much for uh, being a support to my youtube videos uh, keep on subscribing uh, please share my videos to others those who are interested in this field so once again thank you very much and have a nice day.